Welcome back to World Drum Club. I'm Kalani, your host and teacher. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to assemble a set of bongos. I've got a pair set of World Rhythms bongos here uh, by Tycoon. I've got them disassembled and you can see there's a few parts here. So here we've got the small drum or what many people call the macho, the macho side, then the larger drum, the embra, and that's basically referring to male and female. And then we've got the separation block uh, that we're gonna put in between. We've got some backing plates that have a slight curve to them. I'm using these carriage bolts. These are not the original bolts. These are some different, different longer bolts. And the reason I'm using these is because I'm also gonna put this on a mounting system that's gonna go on a stand. But in this video, we're just gonna put together the bongos. So I've got these carriage bolts. I've also got some nuts here and some washers. And then here I've got some wing nuts, which I'll talk about in a second, why or why you wouldn't want to use those over uh, the standard uh, hex nuts. I've also got a couple different uh, ratchets. I've got a 13 millimeter here and then I have a half inch ratchet here, just in case I need a different type for the assembly. So the first thing you wanna do, if you have your bongos uh, taken apart for any reason, maybe you wanna check, uh, check them out, you know, do some maintenance, make sure there's no cracks in the shells. So assuming you've done your maintenance um, on your bongos and they're ready to put back together, you're gonna to start by inserting the, uh, the block. And of course you wanna have the small side if you have your bongos like this on a table, you wanna have the small side down. So we're just gonna kinda of drop this in here loosely right now. And then we'll take one of our carriage bolts and we'll take a plate, one of these plates, and notice, and I think you can see that in the overhead, there's a slight, if I hold it this way, there's a slight curve, right? And that's gonna match the shell, of course. It's pretty easy to figure out. So I'm gonna take one of these bolts and a carriage bolt has a square cutout in it that locks in place, right? So that bolt's not gonna move once it's going into this plate, right? So the plate acts as a lock. So we're just gonna, uh, let's go ahead and put both of these in like that, just kind of feed those through. And then we're going to find the holes in the side of the drum. And you can, you can actually, here, let me do this. Let's feed these through. and you can see them like that. And then, and then maybe you put your block on and then push them through, go into the other side, the other drum, and now turn the carriage bolts so they sit in the little holes, in the square holes over there. And now we've got it, you know, kind of together. And then what's next? Another plate, right? So let's put that on. And then you can decide what kind of washers you want to use. If you want to use just regular washers, it's fine. You can use these locking type washers. Uh, you can use both, it doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and use both for now. So I'm gonna put the lock type washer first and then the smooth washer because I want the nut to be on the smooth surface so I can tighten it. And then the lock washer is just gonna put some pressure to keep it from loosening up, but it's usually not a problem. Usually just a single washer is fine. Now, I'm gonna plan on using these because I'm gonna leave these mounts on. When I put these mounts on, that's in the other video for patrons. I'll show you how to use this mounting system and put it on a stand. Um, so I'm gonna use these, but you might wanna use these wing nuts, so that would allow you to quickly reach in and tighten them up or loosen them up or do some changes. So let's just put those on for right now. And you could use a wrench or maybe, I don't really like pliers unless you're gonna put some rubber around. You just don't want metal on metal. If you're using pliers, you know, you can scratch, you can scratch this stuff up. Uh, so the, I'm just gonna tighten this down. And like I said, you could use something else to turn that a little bit tighter, but generally if you just tighten them up, um, you know, tighten them up by hand, make them fairly tight, that's it. Uh, and now my bongos are together. 
you that's it. Um, now you want to make sure that if you've got a new set of bongos, you know maybe the drum the wood has shrunk a little bit in shipping. Uh, I'm talking about you get them right out of the box, and you know the bongos are a little loose. And you're thinking these are brand new. Why are they? Why are they loose? Well, it's because you know the wood will shrink over time, and uh, a lot of these things are made in Asia, and they get shipped over somewhere where it's drier. The wood dries out; it loosens up a little. That's fine. It's totally normal. Nothing wrong with that. Every instrument needs adjustment, whether it's a violin, a cello, guitar, trombone, bongos, right? Everything needs maintenance. Everything needs adjustment. So don't think anything's wrong with your instrument. Uh, go ahead and get a half inch or a 13 millimeter wrench, or you could put wing nuts on there if you want to just have it be hand tightened. That way you don't need a tool, of course, uh, but you do need to use your fingers. So it, there's a trade off there, convenience versus you know how tight can we get that thing. So like I said, I'm going to go ahead and make a, another video now about how to use this mounting system, and then I'm going to put them on this stand which is a stand I like to use for either standing and playing the bongos or in a seated position. I can leave the bongos on a stand. It just makes it easy to play them. And uh, I use that bongo stand for a lot of the videos that I do here on World Drum Club because it just makes it easy for, for you to see and it makes it easy for me to play them. All right, but that's how to put together a set of bongos. If you'd like to see more on bongos, rhythms, all sorts of other instruments, visit me at patreon.com slash Kalani, our patron supported site where I feature hundreds of other videos that are not here for free on YouTube. All right, but thanks for watching. Enjoy playing your bongos and I'll see you all in another video.